I'm Adam. And I'm Tanya. Uh, that is our tiny home on wheels, Jetters. And this is our van tour. Our van Jetters has been our home for nine months. She's given us freedom and made it possible for us to make travel our lifestyle. She's a Peugeot Boxer auto sleeper conversion. She was born in 1999 and is a symphony model. In this video, we're going to show you why we think she is the perfect tiny home on wheels. This is the main room of Jets, which we absolutely love because it is incredibly modular. It's a really smart use of design and space, and which is really important when you're living in such a teeny tiny home. And for me at least, it feels like magic when you're pulling on a lever and she transforms. This space is our bedroom, living room, and office. It's really flexible and can be set up for many different lounging situations. Even though travel is about adventure and getting out there, this is still our home, so it's important for us to have a nice space to spend time in. One of the other things that we absolutely love about Jits are all of the windows that she has pretty much all over. Um, it means that she is flooding with natural light, making her a lot more pleasant to spend time in and makes the space definitely feel more spacious and feel less claustrophobic. Um, the other thing that's really smart is in these windows, she's got inbuilt blackout blinds, just go like this and they are reflective which helps her keep um, cool as well while we're gone um, and when you pull them down this way you've got mozzie nets so you can still let a breeze in while protecting yourself from the midges so we think that is a very smart design she's old and not the most trendy instagram wall van but jitters was my mum's van mum at 67, with two collies, spent two summers in Jits, exploring mostly Scotland and Wales, which is what inspired me to venture into van life. Originally, I wanted something really cool, a super trendy, bright orange VW. Mum thought I was mad and kept telling me how Jitters was perfect with everything you need to live in a very small van. And slowly, after a lot of research, I realized she was right. Jitters has everything. Okay, so this is the backside of Jitters. This is her kitchen area. Um, and this is, for a van, a very big work surface, um, which actually extends out the back. We'll show you that in a minute. Um, underneath this is, firstly, the hob. It stays up like that. You pull the flap out and it widges it there. Um, and that is a dual gas hob. So very good. Um, obviously in a house you maybe have four, but two is definitely enough to do most things. Um, we definitely don't feel like we're missing out. And it's gas, so it's great. Love putting on gas. Under here is the sink, and we've got a hot and cold running water. I pointed the way around there. Hot and cold running water, um, which is amazing, it's luxury. Um, we'll talk about how the water and how it heats uh, later. Um, under here, uh, this is the grill, which we use mostly for things like toast every now and then, a good vegan burger. Um, and under here is the oven, which is a lovely option, but to be honest, it mostly just gets used for storage. Um, but still, it's great to have because uh, I know Tanya has ambitions of wanting to do things like bread and learn to bake. Uh, so, you know, you don't have to wait till we're in a house to do it. Look, we've even got these. They haven't been used yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, there is a lot of storage uh, other than just the oven. So we have these up here, which are a great design. Um, and this is perfect because it fits all our mugs in. Can you see that? Look at that, it's like, I don't know, these were mum's mugs and she must have just been like, hooray, they fit perfectly. So that's ideal. Um, little tiny cupboards here for little knickknacks like vitamins and spices. Essential oils. Essential oils as well. Under the sink for classic cloths, washing up liquid. There you go. Um, drawer for the cutlery, classic. It's actually from my old house, so it's exactly like being in a house. 
and big deep storage there and big deep storage there which is where we keep most of our food and we have got a fridge which is not as good as a fridge in your home in terms of a size and b power uh, it runs off gas and when it runs off gas it runs really well but it does take a lot of energy when it runs off gas um, and it can also run really well when you've plugged in the van on electric hookup but obviously that requires having a proper electric plug um, it also runs off battery and uh, solar panel and all of that but not hugely efficiently but still we have a fridge and it pretty much works so great and a mini freezer oh and a mini freezer which is very awkward to open when you're standing like this but there you go mini freezer uh which we do get ice in actually this is the thing when you use it on gas we make ice so it does work it does work i shouldn't be so hard on the little fridge and it's a new one it's a modern one that we installed uh relatively recently so it's much more efficient than the older ones um so i shouldn't be complaining um also we've got this which is ventilation which is key for when you're in well either a hot or a cold place to be honest because if it's hot you need that's great for circulation and if you're cooking and boiling pasta or something and it's cold then you don't want to get condensation and damp and everything in here so that's really good for airing the van out um and once you're up once we're up here this is a blackout blind so at night blackout as well um and mozzie net or fly net whatever you want oh, yeah pop that back down um and the last thing i'll show you from the kitchen well our safety zone there but that's not exciting um and some extra storage uh because there isn't an inch of jits that goes undesigned unutilized brilliant the safety section is actually important is it okay well we've got a fire blanket here um for when tanya burns pasta and sets the place on fire <laughs> excuse um and this is a carbon monoxide alarm in case we have problems with gas uh, but hopefully we won't be needing any of those and uh, this is the kitchen extension that our friend Colin installed so thank you very much Colin we've got a piece of wood here that folds up there on three hinges this little guy that velcros onto the back there clips in there and voila we have an extension into the outside so this is great if you're just outside chilling out you can just put your drinks or whatever it is on there but also when you're working in the kitchen and this is all folded up and you're using the sink you've got more space here provided the weather is nice from the kitchen to the other essential room the bathroom so pop this in here um the bathroom is actually quite small, but it's so compact and well designed that it has everything that you need. Um, so from here, you've got a secret little sink um, that has the hot and cold tap. You can do all of your bits and washing your face and all of that. And if you've seen our previous vlogs, you will have uh, spotted me washing my hair like this. Um, we also have some storage here, some uh, toilet paper, which we wrap in plastic so that when we're showering, they don't get wet. And then in here, we've got a uh, more, more storage on our mirrors. Um, these little guys we bought in Ikea is really handy. Again, just helping us with storage. So you have everything that you need for the bathroom in the bathroom and here is our toilet um, so exhibit a this is how we sit down and um we have our flush here it kind of just works like an airplane toilet um so here is our flush <laughs> it doesn't what it an airplane toilet goes <laughs> and sucks everything down well if i was trying to explain to someone that has never been in a van toilet you basically just into a box and then you empty the box in designated places yeah great yeah, yeah. um <laughs> and then up here you've got just like a little toilet paper design again so it doesn't get wet um very exciting is the shower so 
here you've got your hot and cold taps and up here you grab onto the shower head which is a shower gun so you just click this and then you go and you can be very strategic with the areas that you may need to wash especially since we only have 60 litres of water so um, you have to be quite speedy but the fact that you can get hot water is such a game changer especially times that we've been in Ireland and Scotland over winter and it's been Baltic and um, when we come home after a long day's hike for example it's been a game changer so this is key we love this and We've got the shower curtain that comes all the way around. There we go. This is me. This is super easy. Um, another detail that I really like is just having this hook here for your um, your towels. Um, so obviously that gets covered and while you're having a shower you can just leave your towel there and you don't have to come outside and get like really cold if it's freezing out. Um, there's also the vent here similar to the kitchen so it's open now but just like this with a swift movement of the hand it is open and it helps dry the bathroom up very quickly um, and we notice it even when it's been cold and damp outside as long as that's open the bathroom dries pretty quickly i want to say in like three hours I mean, it's pretty quick i think a divider falls out from the back of the bathroom door so we can also turn the bathroom into a completely separate private space And this is the behind the scenes of the toilet. Um, you open this up and here's where all of the waste goes. And Adam and I like to uh, bond over cleaning this out together. And nothing brings you closer than using an old toothbrush to really do a thorough deep clean. Um, but it only takes about five minutes to do it. That's it. So this is our gas cupboard. It's just under the wardrobe. Um, we have a gas low LPG setup. It's refillable. Um, and the reason we had this installed was because the original system and most other systems require a different gas canister per country as you're traveling around Europe, or pretty much per country. There are loads of different types anyway. And that is a nightmare because you have to have different adapters. You have to know what you're getting and then you have to wait till you run out before buying a new one. So it's just horrendous. Whereas this one, you can fill up as you go from outside, which I'll show you later. It's also got a gauge here, which will show you approximately how full your bottle is. It's not completely accurate, but it'll let you know when you're running low. So you can just top up before you run out. Uh, so yeah, ideal, because you do not want to run out of gas. Anybody who has lived in a van uh, will know that you don't want to run out of gas because that is responsible for heating our water, our cooking, and the little bit in heater that we got for when it's cold climates. And this is where we fill up the LPG gas canisters. Uh, it's just like petrol, just and you can do it anywhere where they sell LPG. So all around Europe, as far as I'm aware, all, all around the world, um, you just need different European adapters. There are like three or four different types uh, that go on the end of the gas nozzle. Um, and yeah, it's just a really good, really easy way of filling up and constantly having gas. You never have to worry about running out. So this is a bit of storage for just, this is our wardrobe and where we keep all of our clothes. Uh, we've added these shelves in, uh, I say we, uh, Colin did. So thank you, Colin. Uh, very practical way, because before it was just hanging um, and it just wasn't uh, a very good use of space. Whereas now it's a very good use of space and we can fit all of our clothes in there, no problem. And another bit of storage, which is just above the wardrobe, is here. This is where we keep a box full of socks and our underwear, and this is an emergency gas situation. Um, oh, and snacks, apparently. There's some nuts there. Every now and then we have emergency snacks. And mirror. Etsy. Hi. <laughs> uh, that's the only mirror we have in the whole world. Oh, no, and there's one in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> looking great. So that is just some uh, additional storage that Jits has. Oh, and whilst we're on weird little additional bits, this comes down here. Originally, 
because this is very old. Originally, this was designed for TV. Um, and here you plug in the TV aerial and the plugs and all of that. But now we just use it as like a charging deck. So this 12 volt here is where we plug in. And uh, this is where we plug in if Jits is on the hookup. But this, I just think this is just great because we use this all the time. Like it's like our bedside table. Um, and it's where we put the speaker when we're listening to a podcast if we're potting around the van. So it's just really nice, really practical. Other storage includes slats above the main area. It can be used as a bed, but we use it as storage for all sorts of random bits and bobs. There are also two large cupboards under the sofa and a third under the other seat. We have a 100 watt solar panel on our roof, which charges our leisure batteries. We have two 70 amp hour leisure batteries, one under the driver's seat, the other in one of our storage cupboards. They charge via solar and from the engine while driving. They're daisy chained and hooked up to a 300 watt sign power inverter, which gives us a wall outlet. If we have the option, we can also plug jits into mains power, which will power the fridge, heat the water, charge leisure batteries, and power our three pin wall outlets. In this kitchen cupboard is the unit which tells us the status of the solar panel uh, on the roof. It basically tells you whether you've got uh, low power or whether your battery's good and whether you're charging. At the moment, we have two green flashing lights, which means that the battery, the leisure battery is fully charged and we're still charging. So that is ideal. And this is JIT's very retro control panel. Um, this here turns on our 12 volt, which is essentially ele electricity. This one turns on our water pump. And right here, you've got a tank, a water tank um, gauge. So we always know where we stand with water. JITS has a 60 litre water tank fillable from the side. The water is split into two partitions of the tank, hot and cold. She has a separate grey waste tank which is emptied from a small tap below. There you go. So the trick is to find drains. There's the wind absolutely blowing the grey waste away. So this is the control panel for our hot water um, and it's definitely something that we find really important because it means that we can wash up with hot water which obviously is a lot more hygienic and a lot easier than with cold um, and it means we can have uh, hot showers which is one of the things that makes this van easy to do long full-time van life in rather than just short trips because having a hot shower and having just hot water in general it just makes it feel more like a home and more like you're, you're sacrificing less by living in a van which is amazing and it's so simple so once you've got the gas on in the gas cupboard uh, you literally just press that button there and it turns on and then in about 15 minutes you'll have a tank of really hot water um, that will definitely enough water in the tank for a few showers and a few washing ups so it's great. We love our home and the adventures we've been able to go on. To see Jits in action subscribe and check out our travel films. She really has taken us to some unbelievable places. We're assuming if you've got this far through a van tour video, then you either have your own van or you're hoping to get a van uh, or you are planning to get a van sometime in the near future, which is very exciting. Um, either way, let us know where you are on your van life adventure. Yeah, and make sure that you do subscribe and hit the notifications bell because we have gone on some amazing trips with Jits and we want to share our travel films with you. Yeah, she's taking us to some amazing places. Yeah. Um, also, if you have any questions, if there's anything you think we've missed, uh, let us know in the comments. Um, and if there's anything that you think we could do to improve JITS, any add-ons, then let us know because we're always yeah. looking for ideas and ways to improve JITS because we've only done a few little mods here and there, but uh, we're always looking for more. Because we think she's perfect. She is perfect, obviously, <laughs> but can we make her more perfect? Yeah, exactly. Thanks again, guys. Bye.